Okay, so we are going to create a chord track today using Soundtrap. And when you enter the studio, you need to select music first of all. Once you've selected music, you'll see this window will be open. And we can now go and select a new track. And we're going to add a track just like we do in Cubase, just like you may have done in something like GarageBand. Um, or even in Sibelius when we add a new instrument. And we're going to think now about what instrument we want to use to play our chords. So let's just go for um, guitars. And it will choose a guitar for us kind of automatically. Um, and so we're going to want to potentially change um, that guitar. And so down here we've got a list. It says rock mountain top lead. We can go through these and we can just have a little listen. Just by pressing um, on the keyboard below. And we can also use our computer keyboard. I know you can't see that, but our computer keyboard, if I press an N or an M, and so I've got that keyboard, uh, that um, instrument sound there. So there are a couple of ways that we can enter our chords. We could click on record and play them in. However, because, because we're using um, a computer keyboard, it's not quite as good um, as a piano. But let's have a go at recording them in. Now I want to record in um, a C chord. So I'm going to hold down a C, a B, and an M. So if I click on record, it will give me some beats. So I've just recorded those in fairly randomly. Now, you'll notice here now that we've got this little red box and this is our recording. This is our MIDI information which we've just put into um, the computer, into Soundtrap, and I can listen back to it. Now, I've deliberately made that not particularly um, in time or not particularly well quantized, but also actually playing in on the computer keyboard, and it will vary depending on your keyboard, is not that responsive. It doesn't actually, it's quite hard to do. It's not like playing a real instrument um, and hearing the sound instantly, but it is good for something that we will do um, in another lesson. But I think potentially for adding our chords, this is a, the starting point for our piece of music. We want to make sure that they're added in really well. And so actually what we're going to do is use this instrument roll, this piano roll here. I'm just going to zoom in because you can see now that we've got some notes and they're all layered up. But you can see they're different lengths, they're happening in different places. Um, and so what we want to do when we're adding our chords in, and this is the first thing I want you to experiment with, is actually try and create a chord pattern by moving your I just press undo there. By moving these notes on our piano roll, and as you can see, the piano roll is split into these sections. You can see a slightly thicker line here. And these are our beats of the bar. And so what we might want to do is just try having a chord happening on the first beat of the bar. And if I highlight these, I can just press delete and get rid of them. And so if I just move this one as well, so I'm still using the information that I played in, but I'm now just making it slightly more accurate and I'm being a bit more specific about where I want my notes to play and how long. And so now they're all playing for the same length of time. And then I've just got to do one more. Now, I haven't got anything over here. If I highlight everything and hold down Alt, click and drag. Okay. There we go. So. So now we've got something on the first beat of the bar. Now, if I wanted to add some more chords in, then I could just highlight, hold down Alt, and drag. And that would give me some more chords. So now when I go back to the beginning, and I think you just press Enter twice. So 
So now we've got some chords happening on kind of every, um, in every uh, bar, we've got them happening uh, two chords per bar. But you might be thinking, well, actually, I'm not sure how I feel about my um, acoustic there. So let's let's just change that. Let's have a, eh, lots of different types of guitars. And so, and remember, because we're using MIDI signals, musical instrument digital interface, we can change the sound as we go. Now, the sounds don't aren't real, really true to life, particularly with a guitar, um, but they are aren't too bad. Let's just keep listening to a few. And so when you've obviously found uh, what you want, then you can settle with it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I want these chords to be a little bit shorter. Like that. So I'm just going to make them all a little bit shorter. Now did you notice there that I highlighted, I clicked and dragged, and then I can move them all and they all move at once. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to have some more chords. So remember I highlight, hold down Alt, click and drag. And we can do that for all of these chords. Double click on return or enter. And of course, those of you who play the guitar may may think, well, actually, that doesn't sound very, very much like a guitar. You might want to try and change some of the pattern, and of course, you could do that. So one one idea would be to actually make every now and again make it shorter. So. Or have a little bit of a gap here in between. And so you can just change the rhythm um, of your guitar from there. And so the first thing I'd like you to do is experiment with adding in chords using the piano roll. Now you might be thinking, well, what is a chord? What, what, what notes do I need to add? Well, we did cover chords um, last term, but I've just started with a C major chord, which is C, E, and G. Those are the notes. And you can see over here, I've got a C, an E, and a G, just over here on the piano. Um, and of course, if you put the wrong note in, you can move them around and you can change them. And if you click on a note, it will tell you what the note is. Um, and what you might like to do is experiment initially just with adding in a couple of chords um, onto here and play around with the rhythm and also be thinking about the instrument um, that you are using and think, right, well, what, what, what do I want? What instrument would I like? I'm just clicking through. There are so many uh, different instruments on here. There are so many particularly bass um, instruments. And um, if you click on the um, little picture, you can then say, well, actually, I don't want a guitar anymore. I, I want to have a piano. And so let's just have a, let's click on this uh, Warm Roads piano here. And let's see what our... And so just experiment with adding in chords, using the piano roll um, to edit them and to create our chord pattern and to be creating our rhythm. Um, and then once you've got um, the, that first chord in, then the next stage is to start to add some other chords. But for now, let's just get that first chord um, pattern in um, and let's just get the instrument to play our chords exactly as we want um, and all set up and ready to go. And the great thing is that once we've put one chord in, it's really easy to add another one. I hope you enjoy using Soundtrap to make your chord progression.